Hi, Librarian. I am working on a business finance assignment, and I will need the historical stock price of a listed company, the market index, and the risk-free rate. The data will feed into the CAP M model to estimate the expected return. How do I find the data? No problem. Bloomberg has got everything you need. At the Bloomberg workstation, open the Bloomberg app and log in with the username and password provided. We will start off with finding the historical stock price of CLP Holdings Limited in this example. At the command line, type the company name. The autocomplete feature will provide suggested functions and securities. Now click to HK Equity under Securities to proceed. The company is now shown as the loaded security. Select Charting and Reporting on the submenu. And then select Historical Price Table. Wow! I can now specify the date range, periodicity, currency, and so on. That's easy. Yes, when it's done. Simply click Export to Excel to download the data. The historical stock price data should be shown. However, if in a limit appears, it means the daily or monthly quota for using Excel API to extract data has been used up. Oops! Do we have to wait until the next month? No, luckily, there is an alternative way to download the historical stock price. Now go back to Charting and Reporting menu and select Line Chart. Here, you can produce a chart to show the price movement. To find the historical price, click Table. Then, select Edit. Copy data to clipboard and paste the data to Excel. That's how you can bypass the download limit. Thanks for showing us this trick. We now move to finding historical market index data by using the Hang Seng Index as an example. At the command line, type Hang Seng Index. Then, click HSI Index under securities to proceed. Click line chart. Follow the same click path in the previous example to download data. Yeah, now I can run a simple regression on returns of stock price and returns on market index to calculate the beta. Actually, you can simply use the built-in function in Bloomberg to find the beta of a listed company. Really, that's terrific. Go back to the page where CLP Holdings is set as the loaded security. Type beta, then select historical beta under functions. You have the flexibility to set data range, frequency and other parameters to calculate the beta. Some finance textbooks recommend using 5-year monthly data to learn more, read the help page by clicking question mark icon. Now I understand how to use this function. Thanks. To apply the CAP M model, I still need two variables, expected market return and risk-free rate. How can I find them? No problem. Type C R P at the command line and then choose country risk premium under functions. Select the right region, the risk-free rate, and the expected market return will be shown. Notice that in reality, there is no asset that is absolutely risk-free. Practitioners usually use the yield of a short-term government debt as a proxy. What proxy is being used for risk-free rate in Hong Kong? Let's double-click Hong Kong to find out. It is based on Hong Kong generic 10-year index. To find more details, type the ticker in the command line, then click security description. 
it's important to know the data definition, or else you might use a wrong variable, in your analysis. Thanks again for the tip. Finally, can I find the expected risk premium, of a listed firm along, with the risk-free rate, and the market risk premium, in one go? Yes, let me show you, at your loaded security page, type, cap, M, at the command line, and select, equity risk premium, cap, M. Wow! Everything I needed for, cap, M, analysis is here. I can now complete my assignment in just a few minutes. Many thanks for your help. You are welcome. If you need further help, please contact, Bloomberg Help Desk, or, Faculty Librarian, 